Well, in the next series of videos on anemia, we're thinking about the consequences of anemia. Not so much the clinical features, but the consequence for individuals and for communities. And the first one might be fairly obvious, uh, tiredness and fatigue. Because there's no oxygen going to the muscles or insufficient oxygen going to the muscles, people get tired. And of course, this is going to reduce their ability to work. These people are going to be able to work less. And studies have shown that if we correct the anemia, that's going to increase the workload by between 5 and 17% just by correcting anemia. So people are able to grow five to 17% more food. It's a significant difference. Now in anemic populations, there's going to be an increase in mortality. An overall increase in death rate. And Scott and his co-workers in Africa found that between uh, 28 days and uh, 12 years of age, that if you took children that were anemic, every time you increase their haemoglobin by 10 grams per litre of blood, every time you could increase their haemoglobin back towards normal levels, that would reduce mortality by 24%, which I think is quite an, an amazing finding. So if you take anemic children, if you increase their haemoglobin by 10 grams a litre back towards normal, that will decrease mortality by 24%, just that one simple intervention. And I don't expect you to take my word for that. I'm putting a link to the primary research at the uh, at the bottom of in, in the links. Now another problem with anemia is if the blood supply is not going to the brain, well the blood's going to the brain but the oxygen's not, um, cognitive loss. The ability to think is going to be uh, reduced and in children less than two this will be permanent they will have a cognitive deficiency for the rest of their life if they're anemic up to the age of two. And again, studies have quantified this, that there's lower IQ, the intelligence quotient, and uh, that works out at two points per 10 grams, a litre of haemoglobin. So again, quantified demonstrated effect. So if you can increase haemoglobin levels back towards normal that will result in higher IQs especially in the well in the children you're treating. But if you don't intervene before the age of two then that can be a permanent loss of intelligence and cognitive ability. You're probably getting the impression already that these conditions affect children primarily and well not primarily but they have a disproportionate effect on children. And as well, as we might expect, um, maternal anemia. If mothers are, are anemic. And this is associated with 20% of maternal deaths. So where the mother dies in the perinatal period, 20% of those are going to be anemic. And in some areas, studies are in parts of India, for example, that, that figure rises to 40%. So again, a simple intervention, correct maternal anemia as early in pregnancy as possible, preferably before conception, but that will reduce um, maternal deaths. So we get reduced deaths. We can reduce mortality if we reduce the anemia. And again, I've got a link below that shows that in some, some areas, 20 to 40% of maternal deaths are associated with maternal uh, anemia. Now, as well as that, um, there's increased blood loss during delivery. So anemic mums are more likely to bleed during delivery 
and there's a, an increase in the problem and the incidence of a postpartum hemorrhage. PPH. And, and some studies have shown, and again, the, the, the figures are quite amazing, that um, postpartum hemorrhage is 17 times more likely. So by preventing the anemia, we can prevent a lot of the postpartum hemorrhage, which of course is a tragically a cause of death or potential cause of death. Now, another consequence of anemia is um, low birth weights. Uh, pre, um, actually, there's more, there's more premature, uh, more, more premature babies and lower birth weights. So uh, there's more, more pre, pre, prem babies. There's more premature babies, and that and there's lower birth weights. of children born to anemic mothers. So again, if we can treat the anemia in the pregnant mum, we'll get less premature births and we'll get less low birth weight babies. And, and these babies will have, the more anemic the mother, the, the, the greater the mortality um, of, of the babies. So mortality in the babies is increased when there's more anemia in the mother. Reduce the anemia in the mother and you will reduce perinatal mortality. And again, this has been quantified by studies. It's been shown that um, there's, uh, <clears throat> if, we get, if, we, if we treat anemia, so let's make a point. Point that out now actually. So in pregnancy give iron, if mothers are anemic, uh, and, and folic acid. Ideally of course we prevent them uh, before uh, conception takes place, but there's still great efficacy in treating these during pregnancy. In the earlier in pregnancy the, bottom, the better. And if we do do this then this is going to, uh, studies have shown that treating anemia effectively is going to reduce perinatal mortality. It will reduce perinatal mortality. And th the figure there is 40% in the first day of life. So we can have 40% more of the babies surviving during the first day of life. And studies have also shown that infant mortality is, uh, will also reduce infant mortality. For the first seven years of life. So it's, it's from birth to the first seven years. Although of course other studies have shown that mortality is, is reduced if we treat anemia for the first 12 years of life. So remember, anemic mothers will have 40% more perinatal mortality, 40% more children will die on the first day if they're anemic. If we treat anemia in pregnancy, the earlier the better, we can reduce perinatal mortality by 40%. And by treating anemia, we can also reduce infant mortality in the first seven years. And other studies have shown up to the first 12 years of life. And of course, we want to make sure that the children aren't anemic either. So re really quite shocking figures. Um, children and uh, young women dying. Uh, at really what, what is alarming levels because anemia is often not you know, properly corrected. Links at the bottom, put this into practice in your communities.